this is it, the final farewell. The soldiers of 2RRF exercise the freedom of the town of Sella for the final time. Trenchard Barracks on the edge of Sella town centre has been home to British military units for more than 67 years. Its closure is part of the government's plan to draw down UK troops from Germany back to the UK. Two RRF's scheduled posting earmarked Trenchard as one of the first stations to go, but leaving Sella will be a sad day for all involved. Uh, the people of Sella have been wonderful to us. Um, I, I'm particularly cast my mind back to 2003 when we went first of all on operations in, uh, in Iraq um, and how much they looked after our families uh, while we were gone. And that's been the same story throughout. I think throughout the whole British involvement with Sella is that the people of Sella have really stepped up to the plate and looked after us. It's a wonderful town, it's a wonderful barracks um, and it's a very sad day to leave. The, the relationship is very strong. We've, had, we've actually got people in the battalion who've been here for over 16 years. Uh, they've actually married local ladies and stayed uh, either with ourselves, the 1st Battalion, or indeed uh, to Royal Anglin to, to remain in Sella, so the link is very strong. We're sad to see our friends go, but we will still have British forces in Lower Saxony, in Hamel, in Fellingbostel and in Bergen, and we hope they can stay as long as possible. Packing up a whole camp into containers for shipment to Cyprus has been a challenge, but it's the Freedom Parade, the final farewell to the town they've called home, that means the most to the second Fusiliers. The freedom of the city is a very great honour that can be bestowed upon a, a regiment, so it means that we can march around the town with our drums beating, our colours flying uh, and our bayonets fixed. And I think that's a very good way to end our, uh, end our time here in Sella. And for the people who live in this beautiful historical town, the departure of more than 1,000 soldiers and family members will impact their lives too. Well, this is, uh, when the soldiers go uh, for, for the business, it's not so good. Huh? But it's not just the financial losses. The partnerships and friendship built between the British and German people may well be lost, but certainly never forgotten. Annie Hearsign, Forces News, Germany.